Hi and welcome to our next video on Packet Tracer. In the last video we looked at how we could use Cisco Packet Tracer to create a really simple network and the simplest network you can have is between two computers, two desktops, two laptops and we connected them physically together with a hard wire. These are not wireless devices we connected them together with a hardware. So just to review what we did, we went down here and we can select different devices. There's network devices. PCs are end devices. So we clicked here and we brought in a PC here, brought in another PC here, and then we went to the cable feature and we had to find a cable that we can connect these two together with. And we we're reminded that when we have two devices of the same type, these are both PCs, if you're connecting two devices of the same type, we must use a crossover cable. This is a straight through cable. This is what we call a crossover cable. So we have to use that in this case here. Then what we did was we had to go in and assign each device an IP address. An IP address is a logical address typically based on the location of where that device is located. So to do that we went into here and we clicked on this and we went into IP configuration. We assigned it a static IP address. We gave it this address here and we used the default subnet mask. Then we went over to this device here and we clicked on IP configuration, clicked on static IP, and we gave it this IP address with this default subnet mask. Then we did a ping, and we do a ping to confirm that these two devices are connected and talking to one another. And we did that in real time mode. This time we're gonna use the simulation mode. So down here in the bottom, I can click on real time, or I can click on simulation. And what simulation does is basically it does the same thing as real time but in a much slower way so we can actually see packets moving in our network. Remember that data in networks are sent in groups called packets. Packets are like virtual envelopes filled with data bits or information. Each packet is stamped with the source IP address and the destination IP address. So if we say that this device on the left is the source and this is the destination, then we are going to ping from this device to this device using the simulation mode. So to do that, I'm going to click on this device here and I'm going to go to command prompt and I am going to type ping space 192.168.0.7 and I'm going to hit enter. Now in simulation mode you don't see anything happening right away. We do see what looks like an envelope here which is actually a packet and when I go to simulation mode and I click on this play button you can actually see the packets being sent. So let's do that. So we can see the first packet being sent goes to the receiver and what happens is there's an acknowledgement sent back saying yes I did receive that packet. So the device sending actually knows that it did actually send and that device received it and it got acknowledgement that that did happen. You can see that it sent another packet and the same thing it was sent back that yes I did receive that packet and it's waiting for the next one. Remember when we did the ping command before it actually sends four packets and it checks to see if all four of them are sent. So that's what packet tracer will do in simulation mode. We can see that each packet's being sent and it's acknowledged going back that yes it was sent to that device and it was received by that device. So that's how simulation mode works 
in Cisco Packet Tracer. Please take a minute and try it. Make sure it works. And we'll see you in the next video.